in January of 2024, in a major development, Canada has decided to put a cap on the number of international students who will be coming in to Canada for studies. Now, the question that needs to be asked is that international students, mind you, Canada in the past year has issued over a million visas for students. But why is it that a community that is contributing to about 22 billion Canadian dollars to their economy, why is it that Canada has suddenly decided to put a curve? So let's look at the perspective. Why is this being done? Then we'll talk about ki iske implications kiske upar aane wale hai, and then how exactly this is going to be implemented. Now, if we go back to the last couple of years or to the last decade for that matter, Canada has always been one of the most preferred destinations for students from across the globe. The reason being, getting study permits is easy. Getting work permits after your degree is also easier in Canada. And kahi na kahi, the ease with which the PR is available has been the driving force for this to happen. But in recent part, past, what has happened is, there have been way too many students coming into Canada. Unfortunately, a lot of students came in and took courses which honestly were not the best in the interest of Canada for that matter. So what happened was, suddenly with an influx of so many students, so it started putting that pressure on the accommodation system which is available over there. The rentals have gone up, right? So what that does is, apart from the students, the people living in, in Canada, the locals, they also started facing this issue that the rentals have gone up. Also, what has happened is, because a lot of students came in and took up some random course here and there, suddenly you have a big number of students who are actually unemployable there. So this is something which was getting a little alarming and very honestly, we the professionals from this same field, we saw this coming. No, no country can just keep its doors open for everybody and anybody coming in. In the recent development, they have decided to implement certain measures going by which there would be about a 35-36% drop in the number of students who would actually get into Canada. But then how exactly is this going to be implemented? Let me tell you, you need to understand this entire thing properly and not get alarmed with what is happening. Couple of things that I would want to highlight before I get into details of what exactly is happening out here. First and foremost, it is not going to affect the students who are already there. So suppose if you are a student who had traveled to Canada in say fall of 23 or 22, you don't have any difference. This would be applicable to students who would be starting their academic year from fall or what you can say is September 2024. That is the first one. And second is, this is not a permanent thing that Canada is going to be implementing. They are trying it out for the next two years and this will be reviewed in the year 2025 and post that they will then decide what needs to be done or how this needs to be carried forward. Obviously, if at all there is a government change, there might be a change in the policy altogether. So this is a two year thing and second is, it is not going to affect the students who are already there in Canada. This is applicable for the students starting their academics in fall 2024. So how exactly are these restrictions going to be implemented? See, there are a couple of things that you need to understand. What the government has done is that now they are going to be assigning certain provincial quotas. Now what is that? In Canada, obviously there are so many different provinces. A province like in Ontario, it gets the most number of students, right? But every province has its own capacity to support the number of students. So over here, they would be giving certain quota, obviously based on the capacity of that province to support the number of students. So government will give quotas for each and every province. So that is what it would be like. The province will then distribute that quota among the institutes. 
So your bigger institutes, say something like a British Columbia or maybe some other universities, they will get more number of students, they will get more quota and the smaller institutes will get smaller number of uh, quota for, for admitting the students. Which honestly, in a way, is, is a good thing also because the chote mote institutes which have just sprung up out of nowhere who are not in a position to give you the facilities, they are not going to get the kind of quota that they were getting otherwise. So, the bigger universities are not going to be affected at all. My personal observation is these smaller institutes which do not have the kind of facilities, they are the ones who are going to get affected. So, the government is going to give quota to the provinces. The provinces will then allot the quota to the institutes based on the facilities the institutes can provide. Also, one major change that has also been made is that after you study, your student permit application, which you are required to submit as a student studying in Canada, you will also need an attestation from the province. What this means is that say suppose if you are studying say in Ontario, when you get your application, you will have to get an attestation from the province of Ontario. This is because the government is now making sure that the province has taken that student into an account and province has actually attested saying that we are in a position to support this particular student. So somewhere the provincial rule has been increased quite a bit in this entire arrangement. This in Canada has been implemented from 22nd of January 2024 and the provinces have been told to design a strategy and get this done by March 31. 2024 so that is what is the plan also one more very 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 important thing that we need to understand is that apart from the tuition fee any student who's traveling to canada is required to show certain amount in their banks for the additional expenses earlier it was around say ten thousand canadian dollars is what we are required to show now that amount has been doubled so that amount currently stands at 20,365 Canadian dollars. So, CBC CD baat ye hai ki before a student could travel, the amount of money that they were required to show in their bank accounts that has now been doubled. So, they don't want students to come into Canada depending on the money that they would make there and support themselves. They want students who are financially stronger. So, that is something which will impact a lot of students who would be traveling from, from uh, say, India or any other country to Canada. There have already been certain concerns raised because, see, a lot of, say, stores and a lot of, lot of businesses in Canada are running where they are hiring, they are employing these students to work for them. Now somewhere, if that goes down, those businesses might also get affected. But that's a different discussion altogether. But this is currently, what is the situation in Canada? So as a student, as a consultant, when you decide whether or not you want to get into Canada, all these things have to be taken account. Thank you.